What's up guys, Vern here, Poggy Boy Productions. Today we're gonna go to one of the oldest institutions, one of the oldest restaurants actually, in New York City, in Brooklyn to be exact. Um, you may be familiar with this place. Very popular, very well known. Got lots of great reviews, lot of boards. It's Peter Luger's, going with my family. Hopefully it's not too crowded, we made reservations. So keep watching and let, let you see why this steakhouse is highly regarded. Who wants a cow? Who wants a cow, Cali? <laughs> wait, Daddy, wait! I know. I know the kids got the burger, and I've heard this place serves a wonderful burger as well. It's one of their best, one of a kind. I think the the patty is dry aged or something, and from the kids burger, it looks super thick already. Like the patty was this huge. Uh, I didn't get to taste it. So I may have to come back to try it for lunch. But my sister-in-law and my brother both enjoyed the burger and my brother was asking me to take one home but <laughs> I didn't. So we gotta go back, try that burger. Definitely gotta go back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Another cow. Sizzling hot. Ooh. Got some juicy, juicy, Thank juicy. You. Looks good. Thank you very much. Later. How about, how about spinach? Yeah. Sure. How about a little spinach there? Do you like spinach? Like spinach? No. 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 <laughs> how about you? Not today, I guess. You want spinach? Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. We got our broccoli. Do you like it? Yeah. German fry. It's like hash brown. The camera looks cute. All right, all right, let's freeze this for one second as I want to bring something that came up from last year. This was a review for Peter Luger's and I felt that it was pretty low. It gave it zero stars. I mean, it's one person's opinion as to what he thinks of the place, of the food. But I think with zero stars, you are not giving it any redeemable qualities at all. In fact, Peter Luger's has won numerous Michelin awards there are definitely more positive reviews than negative going by what I feel I think it was steak is really good you know price is pretty high for what it is but you are paying for good steak dry aged and it's their own recipe yeah I went there maybe a few years ago and with my college friends and that felt like eons and it's the first time back for so long and I still think 
they serve some really good steak. In fact, uh, I would recommend it. You know, I would give them good ratings. So, like I said, go in there with an empty mind. Use that as a gauge as to what to expect from the food, right? And, you know, let your tummy decide. So let's keep rolling and watch some more good food. <laughs> oh, to Chinatown. Also make very good taho. I think one of the best too. I think of the steak well if you could tell from my reaction of my my face it's definitely worth the money that we paid for it's just as good as I remembered it when I went with my college friends back in the day long time ago uh, steak is extra meaty very thick nice and succulent so meaty I mean it just melts in your mouth when you take that first bite I uh, we ordered the uh, medium well that's what the family wanted we got the steak for three so that fed us all and we actually even had leftovers believe it or not it's that filling and all that size that we ate kind of got us full there's a side of broccoli side of spinach and i think the only complaint and something that's not that bad but i probably wouldn't order again was the german fries i think it was a little burnt on the bottom side of it all and it was a little hardened i didn't like the taste of that it was okay but again, if I were to order some another side, maybe I'd just order french fries or more spinach. Also, I usually do not add sauce. I like to eat my steak natural without the sauce. But in this case, it gave it that extra flavor. I don't know what their secret recipe is in that sauce. But I highly recommend trying it. Also, if you are in Peter Luger's, make sure to bring cash. And I'm glad they do now accept debit cards. So if you have a debit card, you could pay by that option unfortunately they still do not accept credit cards so we we pay by cash and we tip the our waiter well after that heavy meal we decided to head on over to chinatown to get some good dessert now we could have ordered key lime pie which i heard was pretty good on the menu of peter luger but he wanted to try something even sweeter we went over to fong on which was only a drive over and tried some of the best puto ever the puto had four different flavors they had the plain white one they have brown sugar they had matcha they even had ginger i think we tried all the flavors except for ginger and i heard the ginger was also pretty tasty so you can't go wrong with any of the puto there if for those who don't know what puto is it's this delectable rice cake and filipinos love our puto we, they also have really good taho 
didn't get to try it but my sister-in-law and my brother got to taste it and they said it tasted really good my brother described it as egg whites floating but it's actually tofu and it's still pretty sweet it's not as it's not the same as what the filipinos order with the taho didn't have the tapioca pearls but nonetheless it still tasted as good i would definitely have to come back and try it they both recommended it gave it the thumbs up so i have more reason to go back to chinatown for it so hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit that subscribe button down below that red button ring that bell so you get notified of all our future videos leave a comment share this video if you can because it helps a long way to helping our channel and uh, we'll see you on the next video thanks for watching guys